Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. I uh, just want to give you an update on my plans for 2019. So, um, see, so yeah, I've, I've been working on my um, grow plan for this season, and I want to show you the peppers are probably going to start and how I'm going to start them, and also show you a few things I've got growing right now and some updates on some things I featured uh, you know, a month or two ago. So, uh, let's get started. This is my uh, Chili Klaus cup. He's one of my favorite uh, pepper people. Anyway, let's get started. I'll show you what I've got. Okay, these are my Air Gardens, um, Air Garden Bounty, and Air Garden Sprout, and this old classic 7 Air Garden. So I'm going to do most of my seed starting in these. I've got the seed starting deck for the sprout, which is nice because I can start 15 in it. And um, I was kind of running these through, just water. Took everything apart, cleaned them really well. I'm going to start, so I can do 15 plus 9, so that's 24, plus 7, so that's 31 that I can start. And I'm planning to grow probably between 30 and 40 plants, so probably closer to 40 at least. So I'm going to start another set and that would be a good project to do a simple uh, DWC type um, setup using some small net pots that I've got. And I'll show you how to make that. Uh, but I've got a plan to do that anyway. It shouldn't take very long to put together and be a nice project. So anyway, um, so that's that's where I'll start these and um, I'm basically going to do a mix of some super hots, some um, habanero level, habanero scotch bonnet types, and some slower, some uh, milder to no heat. I'll show you a list of those, kind of a working list. I haven't really finalized it yet, but um, but it's uh, it's getting there. So I'll, I'll sh I should have that ready, um, get all my seats together, and start them within a week or two. So I'm kind of calling this Grow Update Zero for the season, just because it's sort of my, my plans. But anyway, let me walk down to the basement. And this is Pepper Dog. His name is Little. He's a beagle. Now here's, um, as I'm coming down the basement, I have good lighting down here, but um, this is everything I dried for this past season. So I got lots of stuff to work with for powder blends. This is my pepper plant under the HLG 100 and um, this is actually after a severe prune. It had gotten, actually I've, I've, this is about the at least the third time I've pruned it back. I mean it, it was taller and wider all around but I, I cut it way down and uh, I'm trying to keep it within the parameters of this little frame I made just so I can kind of get the optimal, um, you know, keep it under the main light footprint. Um, so that's, that's how that's looking. It's doing really well. Um, this is a little time lapse I'm doing. Sansi sent me this 40 watt grow light, and I'm working on the video. Uh, I haven't posted it yet, but um, I'm kind of making two or three videos in one, but I'm doing a grow light test, but also um, trying out a ball. Uh, herb growing kit and it's basically a mason jar setup with a net pot and this is the ball kit and then this is one that I made using the same size mason jar three inch net pot and cocoa core and both of these are growing um, just Italian basil and I've got this little time lapse going so I'll show that when I publish the video but I've, these these have already um, Kind of see, I've already got some coming up. So these are just getting water. I haven't added nutrients yet, but I'll probably add the um, stuff that came with the ball kit, whatever that is. This stuff, and then I'll probably um, just to be fair, I'll, I'll use the same for both. Then I'll switch mine over to Master Blend or something. Donna grow something like that and see how it does. But anyway, that's the that little setup that I made. And this is my Bigelokia in a five gallon bucket DWC. I 
it's done really well recovering from rewat. I had some problems and I've been nursing it back. Um, look at the, the trunk on this thing. I pruned it back to like no leaves, like it was just um, just the trunk. I mean, it had no no leaves on it, and this is all grown back. The leaves are kind of funky. I think it's something to do with um, this massive root ball and having no leaves to begin with. There's some kind of imbalance there, which I think it'll grow out of because it's actually looking better than it did. It almost looks kind of like mite damage. I've looked at these under a microscope. I haven't seen any um, any kind of uh, infestation that I can see. This, this kind of leaf effect can be caused by a nutrient imbalance or overdose. So I think that's probably what's wrong. I'll probably move this out to um, a large cracky setup sometime like when it gets warm and uh, see how it does. I think it'll do really well. And this is my uh, Mr. Hua light got a time lapse going on it as well uh, these are all king star crosses these two here are wicking out of this five gallon container kind of see there and this is just a double cup that's just sitting next to it this is a lemon starburst and this is a Starch a bonnet, and this is a Kingster Red. I think um, these are going to be doing really well once they get more established. That's how those look. Um, so anyway, that's um, my grow. Oh, that's the roots on my lemon starburst. So that's where I'm at right now. I'll post uh, an update here when I start my seeds and I'll show you exactly what I'm growing. I just wanted to get, give you a general update. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked that. Please like, comment, and subscribe.